Hey guys, this is Shannon from Chandelier. I'm really excited today to show you guys how to set up rich pins for your blog. So I've been putting this off forever because I thought it would be really hard. I didn't want to mess with my blog's code. Um, but this past Saturday, I finally just sat down, told myself I was going to figure it out. And it turns out it's actually a lot easier than I thought. So. For a little explanation of what rich pins are, if you go on Pinterest, you'll see two types of pins. A rich pin is this one right here. You'll see the source, where it's from, the fab icon, and the title of your post or article in bold. And then right here we have a pin that's not a rich pin, which doesn't have any of that. It just simply has the description. And so it's actually been shown that the um, rich pins are way more noticeable on Pinterest. They get repinned a lot more. They draw more traffic to your site. And so this was a pretty big priority because Pinterest can be one of my um, top referring sites already, even, the, even before I had rich pins. So I didn't know how to get them, so I first Googled rich pins to try to find out and the very first thing that comes up is rich pins Pinterest for business and it kind of details the different kind of rich pins you can have um, unless you're a food blog you'll most likely have article pins so these basically are blog post rich pins so you go down here you click get started and it tells you a little bit about how to apply um, you d basically just have to click on the type of pin you want to apply for. So I clicked article and it brought me to this page of very complicated code, basically a mumbo jumbo to me because I don't understand any of this. So I thought, I don't want to have to do this. You know, I mean, I know how to get into my website's code, but I was a little nervous I was going to mess everything up. So I decided there had to be an easier way and it turns out there is. So I'm going to show you what that is. So if you go to your dashboard on your WordPress site, you will, you know, be on your dashboard and the thing you need to be able to do this is a plugin called SEO by Yoast. If you don't already have this, this is a very, very, um, critical post for you to have already because it helps you optimize your site for SEO and help people that are searching for you find you in your blog posts. Um, but if you don't have it, just simply go to add new plugin. You easily just search for Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T, and it'll be the very first one that comes up right here. So just click install, it's free, activate the plugin and you'll be ready to go. So it'll add this new section to your sidebar called SEO. And what you're running, gonna wanna do is click on the social. So Yoast has a lot of different things for your site. It tells search engines how to find you and what to look for. But another thing that it does is tell social media sites what to pull from your blog. So this is really valuable. So since we're working with Pinterest, we'll wanna click on Pinterest. Um, if you, are not already a business page, you're gonna need to do that. So if you have a personal Pinterest page, you'll need to go to um, convert your page to a business page. And I've included some links um, lower down in my blog post that will take you there and walk you through how you do that. Um, and then that'll guide you to verifying your site. And so if you haven't already done that, you can click paste your meta code in here and that will help verify your site with Pinterest and you're going to need to do that before you can apply for rich pins. So if you haven't done that, just follow the links that are down below and that will guide you through that process. Um, but also on this page you'll see this line of text which says Pinterest uses open graph metadata just like Facebook so be sure to keep the open graph checkbox on the Facebook tab checked if you want to optimize your site. For Pinterest. So it turns out that you click on the Facebook tab and you'll see this add open graph metadata to your site's head section, Facebook, and other social networks. Use this data when your pages are shared. 
So you'll see this, it should already be checked. And if it's not, just simply click on it, check it. And basically what you've just done is you've taken all of this code and you've just added it to your site with one click of a button. So now your site is ready to generate rich pins. So you'll go to the same page, you'll click on the rich pin validator, and right here is where you'll just put in the link to one of your most recent blog posts um, to see, to make sure the code is pulling everything in the right way. So I'll just do it with my most recent one, copy and paste it right here, click validate, and you should see this little thing pop up that'll show you rich pins are enabled, your site name, your little favicon, and then it'll show you the name to the blog post you just put in, the date published, authors, this one actually isn't vital. If you have more than one author on your blog, you may want to consider looking into how get, to get that to generate, but it wasn't too important for me since I'm the only one. And then you'll also see this description, which is the meta description that it pulls in for your post. Um, so if you don't have a meta description, I'm not exactly sure what will come up here. I'm guessing it will generate the first few lines of your blog post, but if not, you'll need to go put it in, in a meta description, which is something you can also do with Yoast. And I've included a link for that as well, farther down in my um, tutorial blog post. So click on that and that'll show you how to write a good one and um, you just go to the post, the back end post page of WordPress and it will help you put that in. So once this is done, you should see a little, a little box pop up that says apply for rich pins. Mine's not coming up since mine are already approved. But you just click on that and then you should get an email pretty much immediately that will um, tell you you've been approved. Um, start pinning basically. And so basically as soon as you get that email, you should be good to go. And I just went back and tested it on a couple of pins, for example. If I choose to pin this, you'll see that it comes up normally, but once I pin it to a page, it will show, and I already pinned this earlier, it will show up just like this. And so there you go, you'll be able to get your pin seen and you'll have a much better chance of getting repinned and getting traffic to your site. So thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or send me a message. I'll try to answer them. And I hope this was helpful. Thanks.